Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me here today. And we're talking about Thermarest, specifically the Thermarest NeoAir X Lite. So this is quite a new piece of equipment to my kit. I've been using it for the last six, seven months. Uh, it's done probably a few hundred months maybe 500 miles, 600 miles with me so far this year, um, and I'm loving it. So if you followed any of my films for any period of time, you probably would have seen that this has been my go-to. So this is the Thermarest Venture. Um, so I'm not gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison in terms of uh, specific features and specifications, but just to show you the size difference. So the Venture here, and this, as I say, is the Neo Air X Lite. So come into this then. So it retails at about hundred pounds you shop around and you can get it cheaper i think i actually paid about 65 pounds or something for this um if you get your you know your bmc british mountaineering council your national trust whatever you can get discounts with uh go outdoors you've got their discount card as well so there's all sorts of various options there so shop around and you can get things nice and cheap but first of all let's have a look and see whether we think this is worth buying so um it weighs in a 320 grams so it's really not very heavy as you know a three season sleeping system it's very compact i have my flask here and you can see it's roughly the same size as my flask this is three quarters of a liter so that's pretty decent and normally when i pack it in my rucksack i have my jet boil or my cooking system i have my sleeping mat and then i have um my first aid kit or something next to that so it's sort of the three fit alongside this slots in so nicely into my kit so we've already mentioned it's a three season sleeping pack well what does that mean well basically um this has got 2.5 inches in thickness so six centimeters which is really quite nice actually um and if i'm going to be honest about my personal opinion i think that the weight to comfort ratio with this sleeping mat is absolutely fantastic i mean my venture has retired <laughs> i might bring that out in the in the winter but this is actually thicker than that um so let's get it out and we'll have a look anyway so it comes in this sack here this sack is not a dry sack um it's just a nice compact sack i actually don't use the sack when i put it in my rucksack i literally just roll it up and put it away but if i was going to be in a really wet environment or if i thought it could get damaged for whatever reason i'll put it in a dry bag plastic bag something like that to keep it protected so you've got a little toggle here on the top so you can unslide that and you can access really nice and simple um, and then on the top here for talking purpose or conversations purpose i've got this so this comes with the with the kit when you buy it so this is a repair kit so in here you've got different sort of first aid patches and alcohol stuff and you can repair your sleeping mat with that anyway so that's that one there obviously that only works if you've got a puncture that you can find so i've had two uh ventures thermarest ventures and i've my previous one i wasn't able to find the puncture so that was a bit pointless having that really um so let's get it out and you can see straight away it's this sort of dulled yellow color sort of mustardy color um, so I sleep with the regular. Um, so if you're interested in the pack size, the pack size is about 23 centimeters by 10 centimeters. But of course the mat size is gonna vary depending on whether you get small, medium or large. I believe they are all this color, um, but this is, this is what you get basically. So you buy the kit, you get a cardboard box, you get this, this um, you get the mat, you get the, what is this, bag. There we go, the bag and you get the first aid kit. First aid kit for the mat. There we go, your repair kit. So this is it, this is what you get. So you can see that the corners are rounded off. So that's obviously to try and help keep the weight down, but also um, just for comfort really, I guess. So each corner is rounded off and this is it. So the fabric on the actual, um, the mat that it's made of is 30 denier nylon. So it's not amazingly robust. I believe the Venture is actually 50 deniers or something. I wasn't supposed to be comparing the two, but I am now anyway. So if you're interested in the Venture, keep pointing over there because it's over there. Then definitely check out the review, which is up there. Um, that's a definitely more budget Thermarest. I've loved it, used it for sort of 10 years now. Um, or however, basically as soon as it came out, I bought that. Um, but now we got this baby. So 30 denier, so it's not hugely robust. So definitely want to protect this. Make sure you've got ground sheet going on underneath you when you're sleeping on it um but yeah this is it this is this is what it looks like not much more to talk about so what i'm going to do is i'm going to blow it up and then there's more to talk about we can talk about what's going on inside this mat um, i've also got my sleeping bag so i'm going to put that top on top as well so you can sort of see what that setup looks like so it normally takes me about 20 breaths on a good day <laughs> let's see how many this takes so i'll see you when i've got this all blown up ta-da we have the blown up mat so this is it 
super light it almost floats uh, so I blew it up through the nozzle which is the only way to inflate it so this is great it just unscrews and screws up so that locks the air in if there is going to be somewhere that you get leakage of air it's the nozzle so just be careful what I like about this is they've got this piece of plastic around the nozzle so you can grip that so make sure you're holding that when you're tightening and loosening the nozzle and that will hopefully just keep that protected from any damage but this is it so you can really see the shape of it here so it is rounded off as I say on the end you've got your little logo on the top and then you have these ridges so what's going on in here so we got our six centimeters or whatever so what's going on basically they've got their thermocapture technology or triangular core matrix insulation stuff so you've got little cells in here essentially which are filled up with the air so it sort of um, allows the air to circulate underneath you and insulate you from the ground so this uh, particular mat actually has an R rating of 3.2 what does that mean well our rating is basically a way that mats can be categorized into how much insulation they can give you from the ground so the reason why it says three seasons is because uh, it's quite a low number 3.2 so the scale is zero to six um, so obviously a five or a six mat is probably a sort of four season up in the alps uh, kind of mat you know in the winter that's going to help keep you protected from icy cold ground but this is great you know spring summer autumn sort of cooler weather uh, this, is, this should be absolutely fine and of course it is nice and thick which is great so it's super comfortable and it'll help you rest your weary limbs at the end of the day so other things to sort of talk about really is it's quite well known that this is a noisy mat so if i just sort of press down on it now obviously we've got the grass going on underneath but people say they know when someone has an x light because it sounds like they're sleeping next to someone who is sleeping on a packet of crisps but I didn't have a single issue with that really. Um, I just, I like it fully inflated. I like quite a firm resting space. Um, and that just meant there was no noise. But of course it is foily inside. So if you do have it quite unflated, uninflated, then it is gonna be a little bit noisier. So just be aware of that. But what I would always recommend is if you go to a store like Cotswold, go outdoors, their UK stores, REI or whatever it is in the States, there's different stores around the world, obviously. Um, see if they've got one of these, see if you can get it blown up and you can have a look at it, lie on it, see how it feels. Always try before you buy, make sure you get the right size for you. Um, and then, there you go. You can hear that foily stuff. Um, and then you can see whether that sound is going to be an issue for you because if it is you might want something different but for me I just didn't find it too bad at all really and when I say I didn't find it too bad I mean I've used this on lots of different trips right through from spring through to whatever it is now late summer uh, I've used it across trails in the UK I've used it uh, when I did the Tour de Mont Blanc as well this was the map that I took with me so you know I'm quite happy with it it works well it's a good comfortable sleeping system so it is designed for sort of lightweight backpacking but of course if you wanted to go ultra light you don't even need a full length um, sleeping mat you could just have a shorter one and put some clothes or something underneath your feet just to keep you protected off the ground some people like to sacrifice comfort I do not <laughs> so this works really great but to be fair that's pretty much all there is to say about this I mean it is a sleeping mat so it's quite limited in what you can talk about but do I think that this is worth the investment yes I do do you well that's up for you to decide but I just think for the weight that you're saving compared to a lot of uh, different mats I think is fantastic 350 grams or whatever it is 320 I think if you get the small is is fantastic it fits really well in my pack um, and I found it really really comfortable I never had a single issue with sliding off I never bottomed out so bottomed out means if there's not enough air then your bottom is touching the ground underneath you I never had that issue either uh, this is doing the job just fine for me so there we go so this is the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite that's my little review hopefully you find that helpful if there's any questions about it please do leave it in the comments below I've tried to get back to you as best I can or drop me a message on my Facebook page, Song Fresh Productions, or Spend More Time in the Wild. Just Google that and it will come up. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's just started raining, so I'm going to pack up and head home. And I look forward to seeing you in the vi next video, or maybe even on the trail. Wherever it is, you know the drill. Enjoy your adventures and stay wild. <laughs>